Welcome back to the last of the image quality video series. Um, in this video, we're going to be talking about noise, which is a, um, an image quality parameter that we actually don't want. In the previous videos where we talked about resolution and contrast, we want to increase our resolution. We want to increase our contrast to keep um, really high quality images. And in this video, we're going to talk about noise and how noise can detract or pull away from the quality of our images. When we have increased noise in an image, it usually requires us to have higher contrast in the image to overcome or compensate for the higher noise. So we always wanna to try to keep the noise at a, at a minimum in the image. Noise is usually measured. We can measure noise with the standard deviation, um, usually taken a, a region of interest and, a, and putting that over a certain object or maybe in the background and, and measuring that standard deviation. That's the equivalent of noise within the image. There are different types of noise that we can have in the image. And in this video, we're gonna talk about four different kinds of image noise. In this first image, we're looking at quantum noise or grain noise. This is caused by fluctuations in the number of photons that interact with the detector from any given point to another given point. If we expose the detector to a uniform radiation beam, say in an X-ray unit or a CT uh, scanner, what we would actually end up getting is a grainy image instead of a completely uniform image. That grainy image, uh, we call that quantum noise. And that's the source of most of the noise that we see in medical imaging. The second type of noise that we're gonna talk about is electronic noise. Electronic noise can be caused by things like vibrations in um, the hardware or electronic components, fluctuations in the voltage, fluctuations in the gain, and that's gonna create noise within our image. And so here we're looking at the uh, electronic fluctuations or electronic noise within an image. The third type of noise that we're gonna talk about is structured noise. Structured noise is gonna be peri either periodic or it could be uh, stationary. Um, structure or patterns within the image. They usually pop up uh, in processing of the image. And the last type of noise we're gonna talk about is anatomical noise. Anatomical noise happens when, uh, say, anatomical, when structures uh, overlap each other. So for example, here in the, on the left, we have a 2D projection of a 3D structure. So the body is, is um, in, has three dimensions, yet we're only projecting two dimensions. So we have overlap of anatomical structures where we can see, um, say for example, the, the ribs here are passing over the top of the lungs and we see the heart is also in front of the lungs. And so we can end up with, um, with anatomical noise in the image. Uh, the image on the right, this is a uh, nuclear cardiology uh, stress test. And we can see small bowel that is coming over the inferior section of the heart, creating noise, uh, noise artifacts or image artifacts within the image. So that's the four different types of noise that we can see in our images. When we have reductions in our image noise, that's actually going to improve our image quality. So we always wanna do things to reduce the amount of noise that we see in our images. Thank you for sticking with us through this introductory video series on image quality, explaining resolution, contrast, and noise. If you have questions about image quality or how you can improve your image quality, feel free to reach out to us and we'd be happy to see if we can help you increase your image quality.